dumps it over on the right wing. And eventually out through the neutral zone, down into the White Bear Lake end, and a chance at the other end. Here just joining us, the Bears penalty kill with a good early stop of a Rosebud Matamidi power play. Here comes a break chance, possibly the other way, as it's just pushed wide. There was a good chance by Anderson to wait it out. And back through the neutral zone comes Hofeld. Hofeld in the left circle. Hofeld shot, second chance is just sent wide. Drive through traffic from the high slot block. It was hit by Belisle, and here could be a breakaway chance for the Rorotters, and they score! The game's first goal will go to Riley Bogren, who got a step, came in all alone, and puts the Marauders on top. That'll come at the 318 mark of the second period. Several players converged in front of Peter Fesso. Marauders carry through neutral into the left circle. A drive score! That'll be the second of the game for Bogren, who came in with one goal on the season, and she has two in the second period alone. Now Timmons back with it at the far point. Timmons in trying to get it down. Oh, they score! And it was pushed down low by Timmons, and the goal will go for Amanda Smythe. A big power play goal for the Bears and they get that power play goal to cut the deficit in half with 1.19 to go. Well, the Bears getting themselves in position, dude. Another chance and they score, and the Bears off the faceoff for the goal that cut it to one. Now they've tied it at two with two quick goals. Tully a dumb shot came in off the faceoff. Got caught in the middle of recapping what had just happened and took all of nine seconds for the Bears to erase a 2-0 deficit. By Taylor Elm as Elm gets it out into the neutral zone. At the red, or the red line is Timmons. The Marauders will work in. Shot loose puck, they score! And the Marauders will regain the lead. At the 6.59 mark of the third period, as they also had a player go hard into the boards. Hartman was there to clean up the rebound. Marauders led 2 to nothing, and the Bears got two goals in nine seconds to tie the game. It was late in the second period. The Bears control with a shot. They score! The shot from the high slot. We'll tie this game back up, and if you want an answer, you've got one, as the goal will go to Grace Bailey. Centering feed in front as Peter Fesso trying to get on top of it, and she does. Front, and was deflected. Lee will bank it off the near side boards. Lee picking up some speed. Lee driving in with a chance, and that goes just wide. It's way behind the Marauder net. Buck will work its way around. It's loose! Score! And the Bears at the overtime winner! Or do they? They do not. The ref has waved it off. Oh, this game will continue. It looked like the Bears had it won, but the official right there to wave it off. Here's Johnson. Johnson trying to go back underneath, back toward Johnson, backhand shot goes wide of the net. Carried around the net, wraparound try. That one counts and the Bears come up with the overtime winner. The Bears do get the overtime winner after all. And they win this one by a final score of four to three. It'll be an overtime game winning goal.